Hello, friends of the internet. <laughs> so if you clicked on this video, you're either my friends or family and you just watch every video I put out or you're interested in what it looks like to be a professional volleyball player or really any professional athlete. I went and did a series called Off Season Spotlight with Athletes Unlimited. I choose five athletes and kind of just followed them around for a day in the off season and just see what their life looks like. I'm gonna share that with you guys here today. I'm not gonna give you the full video because you're gonna have to go over to Athletes Unlimited YouTube speech, YouTube page if you want to see the full video, but I'm going to give you a little bit of it here and also a little bit of behind the scenes of the behind the scenes, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to dive right in and uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. First and foremost, I was in an airbnb i usually went in hotels but i was in an airbnb because this area of this is in puerto rico first of all uh i there were no there were no hotels in the area because it was so rural um so i was in an airbnb which was actually really well priced you can get a lot you get a little bang for your buck in puerto rico Beautiful. <laughs> So this is Rai, I'm about to say it in the video, but we played together in France, two seasons, two different teams. Um, I'm not sure who signed first. I think she might have signed first for the second team. So technically I followed her there. I just copied her. <laughs> but um, now she's playing for Athletes Unlimited and she's from Puerto Rico. She played on the national team with Puerto Rico. She's been playing pro many, many seasons. So a lot of wisdom to learn from her. <laughs> I was just really excited to see her as well because we were actually really good friends off the court as well. That's so bright. That's so bright. <laughs> look how, look how, look how. Okay, there we go. Look at us. We're cute. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh. Full disclaimer, we actually already saw each other yesterday. I was yeah. running down the street like a lunatic. <laughs> I think I might have scared your day, but... <laughs> I was legitimately running down the street. So I got there super late at night because I, I met, I ran into a friend of mine who was also like, I'm going to Puerto Rico. Let's have dinner together. So... I ended up having dinner with him in San Juan before driving down to Ponce. Actually, also with him and Akon, the rapper. I don't. That's a whole other story. We're gonna. I'll, that's. I'll save that for another day. <laughs> but I ended up getting down to Ponce uh, kind of later in the evening because it's a two and a half hour drive from San Juan. And uh, I just went directly to our house. I was like, I'm here. I'm here. I'm coming over right now. And we were running down the street, sort of like like a Baywatch scene or something. Just. It was magical, magical. Didn't make it didn't make it into here because I didn't film it. I was just actually just genuinely just happy to see her. But this is the next day after that. <laughs> this is Rai Santos. We played together what like two seasons? Two years. Yeah. Oh my gosh. In France. Was like forever ago. But now you're playing for AU and I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Yay. I can wait. And we're here for a whole day in your hometown. So you can show us around. See yeah. what you get up to. Let's go. Let's go. Sleep on my glasses because I don't know. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ray's husband, Jesse. I'm not sure that he was 100% awake yet. And he, but he's just like, oh, he's the nicest. They're both. I just love them both. This is my husband, Jesse. Hi. We're always together. <laughs> yeah, you are. I can confirm. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun, so that's nice. So Jesse came to both the teams that we played in France, and he trained a little bit with our team. And also, so the last season that Ryan and I played together was the lockdown season. This season ended March 2020, and we ended up spending like a month or maybe even like two months together in in the apartment that the club had given us that we could stay in in the south of France. So he was there and I was there. I was there, some of my other teammates. And we would all do these workouts outside. And Rai and Lindsay, one of our other teammates, was would lead the workouts. And Jesse was, well, he would always come, but he would always rock up super late. Like, oh, I want to be in bed right now. <laughs> But we're going to Mayagüez. That's where I train, and that's where Jesse plays professional volleyball, and that's where we met. Oh, <laughs> she went there, you know, to watch a game. To watch you? Yeah, to watch me. You know, <laughs> then <laughs> it was love at first sight. Yes. Oh, you guys. 
This is where I work out. <laughs> I come here almost every day. Oh, we're meeting Fernand. He's, um... Oh, I also forgot to say, when they were coming to pick me up, because I was on the way to where they work out, normally it was a 10-minute drive, but something had happened on the highway that it was an hour for them to get from their house to mine. <laughs> So I was waiting outside for them, like, are you almost here? Are you almost here? Because I really wanted to film that drive up, but but we made it. Our best friend, I started working with him when I played here in Maya West one year, and he's the trainer for Jesse's team also, and he's also a trainer for basketball. And he's keeping you in shape. You're gonna be ready for Thank you. And he brought me a coffee because he called them on the way. I was like, do you guys want a coffee? And neither of them did, but I was like, yes. So we were best friends already since since the moment we met because he showed up with coffee in hand and you know that's how I rate my friendships. Please, thankfully. <laughs> okay, and I was actually crushing it. I think she had just potentially just come back from not working out for a little bit or, or COVID or something, but she was like, oh, it's, it's going to be rough today. And I got totally distracted because the workout was so intense and, and it looked, it looked like a lot of fun too, but I totally forgot to take the ND filter off my lens. So all of these first shots are really dark and I was just bumping up the ISO. If you know anything about cameras, that's like fake artificial light that you add um, but it adds also some of that grain, some of that like noisiness into the picture. And I didn't realize it till the very end. I was like, oh God. So some of these, photos, some of these shots are just super dark, but she made it look good. And they were always just messing around. He was always just like whipping her with the towel or like messing with her. I was like, that must be so much fun to actually work out with your partner, have the same goals, the same sport. Ooh, close up of the tattoo, you saw that? Mm hmm. It was great. Fernand kicked my butt. <laughs> <laughs> now, um... So I get a lot of people asking me for, for workouts for volleyball players, and I think I'm going to... I have this idea in my head that I want to take these little clips of these workouts and break them down into what they're actually doing. If that might be something that's helpful for you guys, let me know in the comments, and I will try to get it done. We're going to go to have lunch by the sea. Ooh. With good some Puerto Rican food, because you gotta try it. You gotta try some Puerto Rican food. And trust me, you'll love it. I did love it. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> so we are at La Fiebre. It's one of the really good restaurants here in Añasco. And we're gonna eat right in front of the ocean. It's one of my yes, favorite things to do. So, we just we sat literally have a look. We're sitting literally on the me. ocean. <laughs> if you come to Puerto Rico, you have to try more high rise. <laughs> okay, this was funny because I had to I had to get this audio of her talking about the food, but the guys were right next to her having having a totally separate conversation. And she was like, "Amor, it was too simple. It was there. <laughs> yes, if you come to Puerto Rico, you have to try mofongos. Mofongos are so good. They're like match plantain, and you can stuff with whatever you want. You could be seafood, chicken. So I did get the mofongos, and it came so garlicky, like like nothing I've ever had before. That that shrimp and garlic, and then just like mashed plantains. It was delicious, but I just. I kind of felt bad that anyone had to breathe my breath for the rest of the day. Chicken, uh, skirt steak, whatever you want. So yes, mofongo. But my favorite plate. And if you're curious about athlete diet, I mean, I, as 
my in my how many year career I never stuck to a diet per se I, I think I have a pretty slim figure by ne- you know by 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 nature by nature naturally wow but I think eating healthy as a general rule is what I say whenever people say oh what do you you know what's a good diet for an athlete just the closer it is to the source as in the ground as in the earth the better because the more nutrients it has but I'm never going to deny myself something delicious if I'm on vacation or trying a new food but I think in general when you're at home I don't know just try to eat less fried anything (laughs) that's like the worst advice ever I'm just like I don't know eat whatever you want feud is feud feud food is fuel that's just the way I look at it it has to be rice and beans I love rice and beans. I could eat rice and beans every day. I don't know. I grew up eating rice and beans. <laughs> so yes, rice and beans. I love it. Push it to the limit. I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest. Draw my name in stone. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Okay, this chicken for some reason was walking on the edge of the banister, and to me, in my head, I was like, he, he's gonna jump. He's obviously going to jump off, but chickens cannot fly. So, suicidal chicken. I don't know. I don't know. Ambitious duck. Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me. Go down as a legend in my city because we beat the streets. Trying to spread the wealth around the block. No, I can't keep from me. This is your favorite palm tree? I had to get her to repeat it because I was like, that's what? That's your favorite? Who has favorite palm trees? It's a good one. She's like, yeah, no, people come here all the time to take Instagram photos with this one palm tree. And I mean, it's pretty spectacular as far as palm trees go, but. This is our favorite spot. Whenever we want to come and there's nobody at the beach, this is our, like our spot. Be careful there. One time it came and it was like during the sunset and stuff. Uh, I think we were staying in this house right here. We were just sitting and all of a sudden we saw like a bunch of dolphins swimming around and we're like, this is such a perfect spot. (laughs) So many beautiful places like this and we spend the rest of the day just driving around. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna stop right here because I don't wanna give you the whole video but we spend the rest of the day driving around her island. So the most beautiful places and then her town, her hometown where she grew up, ate the most delicious food, had some mojitos, some world famous mojitos, did a little apartment tour. And like, I really felt like I got to know exactly what Rai gets up to. You know, like I felt like I, I knew exactly her day in her life. And that's, that is, that was my whole goal with these videos was to show you guys just what do athletes get up to because they're really just humans just like you and me and I mean obviously this is not LeBron James this is not Roger Federer but he probably has a very similar sort of hometown lifestyle that he lives day in and day out so I hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek into Rai's world and if you want to see the full video you're gonna have to go over to Athletes Unlimited YouTube page I will leave the link here And I'm going to try and do this for each of the videos that I made. So look out for them. Next one's coming out next week. If you guys have any questions between now and then, what else volleyball players get up to in the off season? If it's not in these videos, if you have more questions, leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them for you. (laughs) Okay, bye. (laughs) My favorite, seriously. They're chilling over there resting. Who? Birds. I don't know how to call them. <laughs> Birds. Birds. <laughs> Funny thing, I don't know how to surf. I want to learn though. I'm going to learn. <laughs> Next time we come, you'll be surfing. Yes. Because <laughs> Always by the beach. That's
my happy place. <laughs>